exceptional leaders, the ones who come to mind when you think about people you admire, is that they are known for continuing their development throughout their lives. Folks who take a growth mindset see the challenges they're facing as something that they could develop enough to achieve or overcome or master or learn from. So that a failure from a growth mindset perspective is an opportunity to learn. The typical approach is to be judgmental, to think of what's happening as somehow inevitable, and then to worry about assigning blame for all those things that are going wrong. If we can develop more of a growth mindset, we can do a much better job of creating in ourselves a set of capabilities that can make us more successful precisely because we've run into difficulties in the past. So at all levels, exceptional leadership for you as an individual, for the organization and the people you touch there, and for the world, uh, all have to do with whether or not you take a developmental approach or a judgmental approach. How do your actions as a leader affect the growth mindset of others? What can you do to make it so that your workplace is more developmental and less judgmental? Transform your approach to leadership excellence and development. Learn more about SEP, the Stanford Executive Program.